Okay, so let's talk about locations. Dry locations, damp locations, and wet locations. So in Article 100, we go to location, comma, damp, dry, or wet to figure out the differences between them. We're going to cover all three of them in this video. There's no reason to, to make three different videos for this. So let's start with a damp location. A damp location is a location that's protected by the weather and not subject to saturation with liquid, but subject to moderate degrees of moisture. Okay, now we haven't talked about a wet location yet, but I think we're all going to agree, whether we've read the definition or not. If I walk out to the backyard in this house, that's a wet location. If I'm standing on the front porch by the front door, that's not nearly as unprotected as it is out there in the backyard. It is relatively protected. Now, are you still going to perhaps get slightly wet if it's in the middle of a snowstorm or a rainstorm? Sure, but you're not gonna get soaked, right? So it's not subject to saturation with liquid, but it is subject to moderate degrees of moisture. So a damp location it is not dry, right? It's a dry location is a dry location. <laughs> a damp location, we're expecting some amount of moisture. Now there's an informational note that I think is, is quite useful that says examples include locations underneath a canopy or roofed open porches or similar and areas with moderate moisture like some basements, barns, or warehouses. Okay, so I live in a desert. I, I've never seen a basement that I would consider a damp location, but depending on where you live, you know, if, you're, if your basement has a dirt floor and you're in a humid environment, then, then your entire basement might be a damp location. A barn, I could certainly see that being a damp location. A warehouse, yeah, maybe, I guess, you know, but roofed open porches. So here I'm standing on the porch looking up. This receptacle does not have a wet location cover. And that's okay, because it's not in a wet location. It's in a damp location, right? Out here is wet. Under here is damp. Now, where do we draw the line between where it becomes a damp location and a wet location? Um, that's up to the authority having jurisdiction. I would tell you the way I handled it as an inspector. Let's look at this receptacle right there on the front porch. Does that require a wet location receptacle cover or a damp location cover? Well, I'm going to draw a 45 degree line down from the roof and I'm going to say everything above it is damp and everything below it is wet. That's just the way I did it. I'm not saying that I'm right. That's just the way that I handled it. So in this application, you know, it looks like that receptacle is probably far enough back. In other words, the porch is, is deep enough that I'm going to call that a damp location. If that porch was shorter and that receptacle is down low like that, you might be able to say that that's a wet location and the light up here is perhaps a damp location. Somebody's going to have to make that call and we call that person the authority having jurisdiction. Let's look at a dry location, nice and easy. A location not normally subject to dampness or wetness. Perfect. You know, in your house, you're obviously in a dry location. But it's not quite as simple as that. I mean, look, can a dry location ever get wet? Sure. It's just not normally subject to dampness or wetness. Dry uh, locations can be temporarily exposed to wetness, such as a building under construction. Now, that's an interesting one. So here we've got some buildings under construction. Is that a wet location, a dry location, or a damp location? Well, according to the definition, it's actually a dry location, believe it or not. Now, can I use dry location equipment in a dry location? Sure. So inside of these foundations, or maybe to a less extreme example, inside these buildings back here that just have the wood sheathing on them, could I install plastic boxes and an M cable? Well, that's dry location equipment, and you're installing it in a dry location, but before you get too excited, take a look at section 110.11, because it says that equipment must not be damaged during construction. So, sure, you can put dry location equipment in this dry location, but you can't allow the weather to damage it. So you don't just have uh, free reign 
on installing whatever you want in an unprotected building that's under construction. Perhaps the easiest of the three though is a wet location. A wet location is installations underground, right? If you're in the dirt, you're in a wet location. Or if you're in a concrete slab or a mas or masonry wall that's in contact with earth. Okay, so the part about being in contact with earth is important there. If I have a concrete slab, that might or might not be a wet location. If you're used to doing commercial, you're going to have a concrete slab on every floor in the building, right? You might have 60 floors. Is the inside of those concrete slabs a wet location? No, they're not in contact with the earth. But if I'm doing a slab like this that's on the ground floor or maybe in a basement, if that concrete is touching the dirt, then I am in a wet location. Now, we have to be careful here. In some installations, they'll put plastic underneath the floor slab. And if that's the case, then the floor slab's not in contact with the earth and it's not a wet location. But if you don't have plastic and you have concrete and the concrete's touching the earth, then that's a wet location. And section 300.5b is going to say that not only is inside the slab location uh, a wet location, but inside of a raceway in that slab is a wet location. So if you can see in the photograph here, we didn't pull NM cable through that raceway. If we did, that would be a violation. You can't use NM cable in a wet location. We used UF cable instead. And of course, UF cable can be installed in a wet location. So sometimes it's not quite as easy as it might seem. So the slab issue can be kind of tricky. Lastly, we of course have unprotected locations that are exposed to the weather. And I think that one kind of goes without saying. We know what a wet location is when it comes to just an open area that's, uh, that's not protected. So there you go. Location damp, location dry, location wet. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.